So I decided to go ahead and remove the entire deep water and a part of shallow water and redo the whole thing. This is the final result. As you can see, it looks much better than the original one. Coming to the final stage of the detailing of the diorama, uh, the first step was to complete the beach scene and detailing of the sea. Ideally, for a Caribbean island, the scene of the beach and the waves were already perfect uh, after the application of uh, the natural sand texture uh, gel and uh, the heavy and uh, medium acrylic gels. The water is generally so clear uh, in, in the Caribbean and the beach sand is so white that often it is difficult to distinguish the line that separates uh, the two. And that is exactly the effect uh, that it produced after uh, those two texture gels uh, dried. However, uh, when looking at this from a perspective of a model, uh, a miniature, uh, those details are lost to an observer even uh, uh, 12 to 18 inches away from the scene. Uh, and, and you wouldn't really see uh, those tiny details. So I decided to bring a little more contrast on the water sand border at the beach uh, uh, with some additional highlight of froth and foam um, uh, on the waves. So right now I'm dry brushing raw sienna and yellow ochre on the beach to highlight the mix of sand and water on the shoreline. Uh, with the dry brushing, as you can already see, uh, those details are already uh, way more visible uh, from a distance. After completing the application of yellow ochre and raw sienna, uh, here I'm balancing the contrast uh, with a second coat of dry brushing using unbleached titanium white. After the sand water boundaries are defined, I started adding foam and froth details using titanium white, not the unbleached kind, the normal titanium white. Note that I'm not dry brushing at this stage. I'm picking up one peak at a time and adding white paint on top of it. Once the peaks are highlighted, I'll be moving to the low contrast details in the valleys beneath those wavelets. Moving away from the beach to the shallow water, 
I continued the same process. However, I was reducing the concentration of foam and froth. Here are some still pictures showing the result. Well, now that the water is complete, uh, I am moving into uh, making the landscape. So primarily uh, the two tiny islands uh, that you can see uh, in this diorama. Uh, so that is the last bit of detailing uh, that is left for me to do. Uh, before uh, completing uh, the scene with uh, the additional figures. So um, I'm going to use pretty uh, standard straightforward uh, you know uh, landscaping items so uh, I, I'm going to use some uh, you know remnant of bark uh, from various dried plants uh, you know dried leaves and uh, some uh, artificial leaves mixed in there as well I'm going to use uh, some actual real dirt here. Uh, I am going to use uh, some static grass from March, uh, you know, in, in a few places there. And um, I, I will be using primarily a mix of uh, three to one white glue plus water mix. And I will also be using a little bit of alcohol to help uh, the flow of the glue uh, to, to hold uh, the scenic material better. Now, uh, as you can see on, on the islands itself, uh, I have dry brushed raw sienna and um, yellow ochre in, in certain places. Uh, same details been applied here in this island as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start with this section um, un underneath this tree as well as the far end tree here uh, and then move to the other areas and uh, we'll see how that works. So at first I'm going to add a little bit of ground material in and around this place. So going to add about piece of bark so that's about it in that area moving on to a different section Once all the scenic materials are applied, uh, the grass, the dirt, and off beats of uh, you know bark and uh, pieces of wood, it's time to soak the entire area with isopropyl alcohol. Then it's time to add the 70-30 water white glue mix to the scenery. Well, the last bit on the scenery is to add uh, the static grass, a little bit of clump of grass 
and I am using instant glue gel to make sure these That's it. And finally, here are some photographs of the scenery to show you the final result. I will still have to add four more pirate figures, including that of Blackbeard, the central character of our story. But other than that, this diorama is complete. Now before signing off, here is how we added one small detail, an anchor buoy. First, drill a hole through the water. Then, pull the thread that is tied to the buoy all the way under the baseboard and glue it. And finally, this is how it looks.